What's up guys and welcome back. Happy Wednesday. So I'm here with another card pull. Let's see what the universe wants us to know about our self-worth today. Wow. All right. The Jack of Swords is what we got. So this is really about um, potential, about also kind of being cautious, um, being maybe a little bit hesitant and um, kind of just being aware, ready to kind of embark on this adventure and maybe also being a little bit afraid, not being sure, you know, what to what to dive into, what to avoid. Um, and I feel like a lot of this is actually kind of symbolic of so many of our personal growth journeys, right? So in connection to just self-worth and this journey in general, um, it's so much about not being sure what you're heading into, kind of being afraid, maybe being um, cautious and yeah, hesitant, like I said, you don't really, you're kind of afraid to figure out all the things that you have been thinking, maybe afraid to figure out your limited beliefs, you don't even, or your limiting beliefs, um, or you don't even know how to start on that process. And so you kind of feel like you need to armor up and have everything kind of ready. All right, I think we're good. Um, so kind of having like this armor and feeling prepared for battle and kind of feeling like you have to have everything ready. And I'm actually kind of getting almost a little bit of like perfectionist energy. This, when you're heading on your healing journey, there's so much unknown. There's so much that we're not taught to deal with or learn. You know, you're not taught how to safely get yourself through a panic attack in like a normal school. You're not taught how to deal with your emotions, how to deal with your anger. Um, and so because of that, so many of us are feel like we have to have every resource ever available you know kind of with us or behind us and it's good to feel that sense of community but just also know that you are embarking on something great and you're finding so much potential it's like you know starting off on like a long hike and you know you might be starting off at like four in the morning it's dark it's cold you're scared you know there's trees everywhere and you might not be able to see super well but by the time you know you are making your way up by the time you get to see the sunrise in the mountains and you get to kind of get to the top of wherever you're hiking to and you have this gorgeous view like you're like wow it's a no-brainer of course I would have done this right but we don't have that view from the start we have to earn it we have to work our way up and so that's kind of what this is saying it's saying like you're embarking on so much greatness and so much potential with your journey but a lot of it has to do with you know being being a little unprepared and being okay with that that's part of the journey part of the the whole point is to not be sure of where you're going and still put one step in front of the other and to commit to yourself and when you're in that kind of space of not knowing what your environment is or not knowing where you're going or what you're embarking on that's really the kind of discomfort that really makes you understand yourself and get to know yourself and it's that discomfort that helps you understand who your higher self is and then that voice in your head that's making decisions that's pulling you closer to certain places or people or pulling you away from certain environments that voice becomes stronger and louder because you're listening to it more you're hearing it more and you're closer with it because you have that relationship with that side of yourself that you know is fearless and that's what's really coming up in this journey and so i think for any of you that feel like maybe you do have low self-worth or maybe there are lessons that you need to learn because you just don't feel good enough as you are and that's okay the world profits off of us not feeling good enough right so i don't want you to ever feel shame or put blame on yourself for that kind of feeling and just know that you are supported you do have the resources behind you if you are on you know my instagram and follow multiple other you know coaches or leaders or voices or if you have just one that you really resonate with that's all you kind of need and from there you know you might get a few journal prompts you might get a few lessons um, or you might have some ideas that you want to think about and you know one step in front of the other it's really not about having the whole journey mapped out and so for any of you that are really scared and a lot of us when we're scared or overwhelmed especially the perfectionists out there um we just go to what ifs right what if this happens what if this happens what if you know this person breaks up with me what if this person doesn't understand what i'm doing and what i'm going through what if everyone thinks i'm crazy what if i am crazy like we have all these what ifs and what ifs are usually negative but how much do you actually think about positive what ifs right what if you know you 
met the right people? What if you only were around environments that supported you? What if you were strong enough to set the boundaries that you need to set with people in your life so that you can show up happy and full of life? And what if, you know, you, what if you just learn more about self? What if you do connect with your higher self? What if you were about to miss this whole beautiful journey because you were so scared? And so I think those are the things that we really need to remember. Like, yes, it can be good to have a healthy amount of caution or not being sure, but also don't get stuck in that place because so many of us, myself included, get stuck in this whirlwind of fears and what ifs and negativity and that we end up not making any decision, but not making a decision is making a decision too, right? It's just much more inactive and it feels a little more yucky so get yourself out of that mindset of feeling again that scarcity theme is coming up but really just in general get yourself out of that mindset of only allowing yourself to see the negative or only allowing yourself to posit the negative to only imagine the negative and start f finding out and feeling really how you can look at every situation when you're out of your comfort zone or every situation when you're uncomfortable and ask yourself, what can I still be grateful for? What can I still look at as a positive and what can I take out of this? Um, so that is the message for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow. Happy healing.